How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel of the Buff Nerd. If you are a new watcher, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. If you are a returning watcher, please like and subscribe to the channel, you know, just so you can uh, support it and, you know, stay up to date on all the cool things that I talk about. So today, over the course of the last year and a half, <laughs> I've had people constantly asking me, um, you know, about uh, salaries and uh, pay ranges when it comes to specific roles. And um, one that I've gotten more than the other was the help desk uh, or the first entry level role that uh, someone would likely uh, receive, you know, upon getting into the IT industry. I've been asked by the subscribers, uh, how much do you make or how much is, is to be expected to, you know, be made <laughs> while you're on the help desk. I know it's taken me a little bit of time to uh, make this video and it's not because I didn't want to or anything along those lines. It's just that, you know, there's just a lot of things going on, a lot of moving pieces, you know, getting settled in in North Carolina after moving from Michigan. Also, the new role as a network engineer and also as, you know, just things, one thing after another, you know, and, you know, family and life plays in that. But we finally got some time, so we're going to talk about it. So how much can you make while on the help desk or how much can you make during your first entry level IT support role? Before I go into that, let me explain a little bit of who I am. So my name is Brendan, AKA the Buff Nerd or the Husky nerd. Currently, I am a tier two network engineer uh, contracted to the Department of Defense. I do a lot of cool uh, layer three monitoring and uh, troubleshooting uh, with different protocols like uh, OSPF and BGP and you know multicast and things along those lines. I've been in the IT industry for roughly three years. Uh, I started my journey back in 2018, back in March of 2018, and I landed my first role well, for me, it's my first role, but I landed my first role uh, in June of 2018 as a desktop support intern. Now, I know there's a lot of people that don't really, you know, pay attention to internships or don't look for internships, you know, upon getting into the IT industry. But, you know, for me, I thought that that'd be a good direction to go in order to, you know, get some experience, you know, get into the environment so I can understand what it is that I'm going to be pitching uh, myself for when it came to actually trying to land a role uh, on the help desk or any, you know, entry level IT support role. So technically my first role was a desktop support intern. I considered the desktop support, uh, the desktop support internship role as my first role because it was a paid internship. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that don't, you know, get those kind of opportunities where they can have an internship that's paid. But fortunately, the one that I got was a paid internship. Uh, while I was an intern, I was making uh, about $17 an hour which rounds out to about $32,000 a year. Um, and that was good considering that, you know, I didn't have a job at all before that, you know, and I transitioned out of the military and was trying to figure out my way to get into the IT industry. I'll talk more about that in a previous video. But uh, yeah, going from $0 an hour to $17 an hour was pretty good. And I was just an intern. I could probably say that was my most fun <laughs> role uh, was being an intern because um, I had all of the responsibility and none of the responsibility at the same time, you know. This is where I first got familiar with uh, ticketing systems and I was uh, taking maybe seven to 10 tickets a day, you know, trying to get a lay of the land, understanding what it is that people need in that kind of environment. And uh, some of the stuff that I was running into uh, was people having broke mouses, broke keyboard, hey, uh, my computer just blue screened, or uh, hey, you know, my computer needs to be re-imaged because whatever, whatever reason, you know, or uh, bit locker, uh, bit locker notifications and codes and stuff like that come up. That's main, some of the main stuff that I ran into when I was on a desktop support team. Also, while I was on that team, I got a chance to venture out and shadow a couple of different teams. I got to shadow the data center. I got to have a conversation or two with uh, the infosec team. I had a chance to shadow the network engineers. Real fun stuff. Now, the reason I brought this up is because to me, this was kind of my entry level role, but it actually led to my serious first entry level role which uh, was at the same company, but instead of on the being on the desktop team, I was on the help desk. I was a technical support specialist, which is a fancy word for the help desk. Going from an intern to being an actual employee at this company, uh, you know, the pay increased. Um, on the help desk, my first entry level role, I made roughly um, thirty-nine to forty-two thousand dollars a year. Uh, that rounds out to about twenty, twenty-one to twenty-two dollars uh, annually. No, 21 to $22 an hour. <laughs> but yeah, um, while I was on the help desk, that's how much I made. Um, the roles changed a bit 
I wasn't out in the weeds replacing mouses and keyboards and stuff. Uh, while I was on the help desk, we were the first point of contact because when I was on the desktop team, uh, tickets would get forwarded to us on the desktop team from the help desk. And now I am in the you know first line of contact. If anything goes wrong, let's say somebody has a mouse that's bad, they would call us and then I would forward them to the desktop team. The help desk was just like any other call center or any other help desk where you know, you're constantly on the phones, uh, you have to take and resolve uh, 25 to 30 tickets a day. It's mainly shift work, so it's just, you know, showing up and being there uh, when the call, uh, call lines go live and making sure you're there all the way up until they go dead. Outside of that, you get calls talking about, uh, you know, people or employees needing uh, specific softwares in order to do specific tasks or they would need to uh, troubleshoot an issue when it comes to a specific program performing a specific function and restarting the computer doesn't usually fix it. Nine times out of 10, well, okay, seven times out of 10, restarting the computer will fix it because there are people that will have their computers on for 30 days, 60 days. One time I seen a guy that had his computer on for four months. I don't even know how this computer was surviving, but four months. You go to the task manager, you go to the performance, you look at how long the computer's been running. Blew my mind, I had to take a picture, you know, and show it to the fellas and laugh about it. But anyways, my experience on the help desk uh, wasn't too different from anybody else's. Uh, one thing I can say is that it definitely helped me get familiar with all of the different avenues that tickets can go or, you know, just the hierarchy of teams when it comes to problem solving. And it also kind of gave, it, it, I was allowed uh, while I was on the help desk as well to peer in on different teams as well. While I was on the help desk, um, I was trying to uh, see if I could push towards going to the NOC or the Network Operations Center. Um, while I was on the help desk, um, I only had the, uh, the A plus and the network plus. So I was trying to gear up. I was trying to get, you know, I was trying to get a lay of the land so that I could interview for uh, a knock position eventually. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And I managed to get a network administration uh, interview at a different company. That's a story for another day. Um, I made plenty of videos about transitioning from the help desk. Well, no, not plenty of videos. I've made a video <laughs> talking about transitioning from the help desk to an administrative role. But anyways, how much I made at this company was just this company. Um, the prices and the pays and the salaries can change uh, mainly depending on how you sell yourself. And while I was on the help desk, that's how much I made. I worked alongside some people that were so well versed and so good at their craft that they made uh, the same amount that an administrator would make, uh, which could be roughly fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars more than your average help desk technician. It all just depends on how well versed you are and you know if you got them skills. More than anything, guys, um, what determines how much you get paid in these entry-level roles is uh, your ability to negotiate. Of course, you got to do very well on the uh, technical interview or you know the technical questions that you could ask during an interview in order to you know <laughs> have the uh, in order to leverage the possibility of getting paid more but it's all about your ability to negotiate the more that i'm in the industry and the more interviews and job offerings i receive uh, the more i realize that it's all about the gift of gab that determines low or high salary i got a couple buddies that talk them ways into six figures on jobs that capped out in, in the five figure range. One thing that I think that you guys need to, uh, you know, zone in on and focus on more than technical questions or anything along those lines is, you know, the gift of negotiation. Most people in the entry level role, of course, you know, they're just happy to receive a job. So negotiating is not something that they really focus on. But one thing I could tell you is that it always comes in handy in almost any situation, not even job interview related. You know, being able to negotiate and compromise is something that uh, could benefit you just in your personal life as well. I've gone on quite a few interviews and, uh, you know, I've gotten a few offer letters over the course of the last month or so. And because I've already have a job that's pretty decent, you know, I wasn't really focused on accepting the offer. I was kind of just practicing my ability to negotiate a higher salary because, like I said, um, it's all about your skills. Since I just obtained the CCMP Encore uh, certification, um, I use that as leverage in order to request more money. You know, I say, hey, you know, I'm in the middle of obtaining my CCMP. I can almost guarantee that I'll have it at the end of the year or towards the beginning of next year. Um, with these skills, I know that I'll be an asset to the company and you need to pay me more. You know, I don't say it like that. Of course, I clean it up and everything. But essentially, 
you know, it's all about negotiation. One thing that you guys need to pay attention to, one thing that I would definitely recommend taking classes on or at least talking to a mentor about. But outside of that, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, the goal of today was just to talk about some salaries when it comes to the entry level IT support roles and it versus my experience on the help desk and how you could potentially get a higher, you know, salary or average when it comes to landing your first IT role. But yeah, that's all I got. So as always, stay positive, stay safe, network, learn everything.